Mr. Mojo Ryzen, do you know which band was Scott Hall's favorite band? Who is Kevin's? Who is Sean Oliver's? Styx isn't my favorite band, but they are the song I'm listening to while asking this question. Okay, Mr. Mojo Ryzen. Um, it wouldn't be Styx for me either. Uh, how about Scott first? I know for country it was always Merle, right? Merle Haggard. Yeah. Um, what about rock band? I don't think he... It was never fucking... Scott was just not... Scott listened to, to country music. Was Scott... I, I, like, Scott wasn't a... was a huge music guy. It was, it was, that's why it was so easy to turn him into fucking... Turn him on to gangster rap. So... It's because he, he didn't spend enough time listening to the radio in the car. He was always talking about the business. What well, Wes, what was the name of that movie we just watched with the Hitman? The Hitman. Was it called The, the Killer? Hitman? The Killer. The Killer? I think it was The Killer, right? Killer. Yeah. I, one of the fucking highlights to, for that <clears throat> movie for me was the Morrissey fucking, like every song was a Morrissey song. And I... I mean, I was, I like the Smiths, like that was, there was like, like, uh. So you I, were like an, an alternative new wavy kind yeah, of. Yeah, I fucking fan? huge, huge Depeche Mode fan. Okay. And then I like fucking, uh, my, my, love my Motown. Right. Yeah, I mean, you know, you, it depends on the genre, right? Like there's. I was there's, always, I mean, my first, my first, I mean, if, if I had to go to a genre, I would go R and B is like like all time number one, and then you know, even like up until like fucking like I really got into Keith Sweat and I mean our I mean all all those guys man if if you could fucking if you could fucking uh, could fucking just fucking just be smooth with Teddy Pendergrass. Mm-hmm. Contemporary R and B too, like I'll be sure and and oh, people Bryson, mm -hmm. fucking uh, see for me, like, see like Drake, like Drake, like I like Drake. <clears throat> um, I think I like Tupac of, of of like all the rap. I like Tupac because he was like he he sang harmony too. I mean, he could spit, but then fucking like you know, Tupac could fucking sing some harmonies. I like shit I can fuck to. Put it that way. Okay. I don't get yeah. fucking like that. Like if so, Tom Waits is out. It sounds like. Yeah. I don't want that gravelly thing. I love Tom Waits. Probably my favorite in the singer songwriter genre. Probably Tom Waits. I like Neil Young. By him. Um. I like Bob Mould. Bob Mould's brilliant. Yeah, Bob. Bob. I, 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 um. Fucking like. Smashing Pumpkins. I. I mean. There's just bands that come along. I was. I was a huge Police fan. Um. Huge Beatles fan growing up. Huge Elvis fan growing up. Sinatra. Yeah, all the classics. Anyone else in the house before little, we little, little Dion Warwick? My dad, my dad absolutely dug Dion Warwick. You know what's funny? You mentioned this. Now you know I went back and watched all nine seasons of The Love Boat recently. So, um, the iconic theme song, which everybody can sing a few bars of, was sung by Jack Jones, written by Paul Williams, but sung by Jack Jones until the last season. They re-recorded it with Dion Warwick. Ah, oh, I didn't know that. And it's awful. It's awful. But it's not her wheelhouse, that kind of thing. I'm surprised. So, like, no, she can only sing Burt Bacharach songs. Yeah, it got all belty, and she's got a weird belt. The tone of her voice is all strange. But uh, anyway, someone from the audience. Let's let's uh, let's wrap. We've only gone three it's hours. Morning, oh my makeup. Dan, and say I'm, a little prep for you. Yes, yeah, she was fine in that. That's that. that Forever and ever. 